since birth. You can kind of start there, but were you born and raised in the church? Or, or you know, what is what was family like at the very beginning? So I wasn't born and raised in the church. Um, so a lot of people don't know this because it's not, I don't think it's necessarily necessary for people to know. That's something that we just go around telling people. But um, my, I come from a divorced family. Uh, my parents divorced when I was young, just a baby. Um, so my biological father was nowhere in the picture when I was younger. Um, so I can remember though, I was young enough to remember that my mom was on her own for a while and she had a small apartment that she paid for and we didn't have much. And when I say we didn't have much, we literally, I remember, distinctly remember she had one twin mattress bed and herself, myself, and my brother would sleep on this one twin mattress bed. And then for our refrigerator, because we didn't have appliances, <laughs> for our refrigerator, she had a styrofoam um, ice chest yeah. that she yeah. would fill up. And back then she worked at the hospital. So she would bring home like little milks, the little milk cartons, and she would put them in the ice chest and we would have um, we were on aid. We were on government aid, of course, and so we would have like, you know, little cereals and little cheese and that, those kinds of things. And so yeah. that's how that's how we grew up. Yeah. When you're young, you don't know any different. Oh. Um, now looking back, it's like <laughs> I have an issue. Now I looking now when I'm grown, I even to this day have issues with styrofoam ice chests. Like hey, I cringe and, when I see. And that. the little milks. Do you always uh, demand the big milk? Right? I don't even drink milk, and I'm like, we're getting the big ones. We're getting the Costco size. <laughs> we're getting name brand everything. 